Nice sunny morning, a little cool. This is Jim Parks on his way to the Legion in Mount Albert. License, ownership, and insurance. <laughs> How you doing, Jim? I'm sorry, but it's all expired. <laughs> I think you get lifetime. Hi, Kathy. There we go. The 98-year-old veteran still drives and is still steady on his feet, a regular visitor at the local gym. Yeah, I do that about three times a week. I get a swim about once a week, but most of the time it's in the gym. But it's a lot of socializing. You know, you're busy doing this, the abs and all this sort of stuff. Parks was a rifleman with the Royal Winnipeg Rifles. The team was among the first wave of soldiers to arrive on Juneau Beach. It's been nearly 80 years, but the memories still vivid for Parks. His boat was hit and he was forced to jump in the water as the shelling continued. We had to, to sort of swim in and there's a sand dune. We look back, we could see some fellows still in the water. We don't know if they're alive or dead. You see, was the water cold? I don't know. You don't think about that, eh? You just think about going. Parks is now one of the characters in a new documentary film being shot in France. And so is his brother Jack, who also landed on Juneau Beach and survived. He passed away in the 80s. They were very close to death, but they managed to escape the, um, the Second World War untouched. Film creator Frederic Jean first met Parks in Winnipeg in 2011, and they've kept in touch to this day. Parks helped him write a book on the Royal Winnipeg Rifles. Jim was a, a special uh, witness, you know. He, he was there at any place and he saw many things. You and my dad were taking care of each other. And that's what it took. And, that, and all of a sudden I went, wow, I found this guy that my dad was taking care of and was taking care of my dad. I, it, it still sticks with me. Rob Cullen and Parks have been friends for a decade. His father's team landed right behind Parks's with artillery. He too survived and died in 1980s. We are losing so many veterans and to find one who landed on the same beach as my dad virtually at the same time, but you know, it was incredible. Cullen has a ritual of going into the waters of Juneau Beach on D-Day at the hour and start of the attack. Last June on an empty beach, he saw an unusual sight young men in Royal Winnipeg Rifles uniform. Oh, and we start talking, and they're asking what I'm doing there, and they, they tell me, well, yeah, we're, they're filming a movie here about the Royal Winnipeg Rifles. And I said, well, I know one of those guys. His name's Jim Parks. And the one guy looks at me and says, I'm playing Jim Parks in the movie. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. I'm looking forward to it. Parks says he's happy. The story of the Little Black Devils, the nickname for his team, will live on in film. I think that, that's fantastic. He's able to do that. He's, in other words, instead of burying that knowledge, he's bringing that, that, that knowledge forward. And hopes he can return for the 2024 launch. I think we said to him, Fred, when you do the premiere over there, how about an invite? <laughs> Farah Morali, CBC News, Mount Albert, Ontario.